Okay, folks. Cle uh, not Cleopatra. Gal Gadot. Uh, you know her as Wonder Woman and the hot chick the Asian guy gets with in the Fast and Furious series. She has now been given... Actually, not given. She's probably earned the right to play Cleopatra. Paramount has decided to do another Cleopatra movie, another reboot, or another retelling. God knows how this is going to go. I hope, I hope it's a good... I hope it's a good show. Gal Gadot will do a good job, obviously. She gets in there, she'll do a good job. Uh, she's done the best... Every time she's been in a show, she's always done the best that she can do. I would say her biggest flaw is she doesn't get very good writers half the time. If Gal Gadot had a great writer and had her playing a really good part. I have often stated Gal Gadot needs to be the woman who plays, um, they need to do like a movie on Israeli history and just do Deborah because Deborah was a sort of a warrior judge of Israel and Gal Gadot would fit in that just perfectly. She would fit that role just nicely. By the way, she gets the role of Cleopatra and what happens all the tolerant lefties come out here and they, they just unload their tolerance. They say nice things like, At Gal Gadot, die. Eat my S, you F face. Hate you, dumb B. F off, you colonizing war criminal AB. I hate your guts. Just wonderful stuff. I mean, they're, they're actually being nice to Gal Gadot about things. They're congratulating her on everything that she's done. Uh, and, and her getting this. And we, we even saw some really good, tolerant, anti-white supremacists come out here and go, F you and F Israel. I mean, this, this guy here who's anti-Nazi coming up, I can't, what is his name? Oh, he's got a little green guy up there. So cute. Shut the F up, you Zionist. Shut the F up, you Zionist, the next guy. Your Zionist ass needs to turn down the role and give it to someone who fits Cleopatra's ancestry. See, all these wonderful anti-Nazis coming out here, you know, people that staunchly stand against Nazism, coming out here and supporting this Israeli woman getting a job. All right, I mean, just yeah, that's just amazing. Of course, folks, I am being satirical on this. I for for your entertainment, being funny about it. This is this is the type of people that we get on Twitter nowadays. They talk about fighting white supremacy, fighting literal Nazis, but in the end, they they want to turn around there and tell everyone. This is the interesting one here. They want the chick from Black Pan, one of these chicks from Black Panther. How are you going to cast Gal Gadot to play Cleopatra? When Luptia is right there. Here's the problem though. Luptia is black. Historically, Cleopatra was not an Egyptian. She was an Egyptian princess, but she was not an Egyptian. She was a Macedonian Greek, meaning a white woman. This seems like a pretty decent compromise for both sides, honestly, having the Israeli chick play. Um, I can just see Paramount right now. Crap. Um, Let's do Cleopatra. Okay, uh, who will we cast? We should cast a black woman. Um, sir, historical movies that are historical accurate make, them, make good money. Yes, and? Uh, Cleopatra was a Macedonian Greek. What does that mean? I've never read a history book before. Uh, it means she was a white European woman. Crap. That's going to piss off the Wokies. I know. Here's what we'll do. We'll get a, we'll get a really pretty... Israeli chick, a pretty Jewish chick, to play the part of Cleopatra. That way she's not technically white because the white supremacists won't accept her, but then she also should be light enough skinned and beautiful enough that maybe the people that are wanting her to be full on black will be satisfied as well. This is a compromise, probably, in my opinion. Honestly, no, I think Gal Gadot got the part because she was she's very she's good at acting, she's a great actress. She's physically capable of doing the stuff that's demanded of her on stage. And she can do that. She's had military training. Uh, if you know anything about Gal Gadot, she's been in the Israeli army. Almost did. They have a, they don't have a volunteer military. You have to support the military over there. They have a, their militia is a have to system. We have a volunteer military because we have a lot of people and we have a strong military force. Israel does not. They're, they're usually stuck. They've got enemies on almost all sides. 
half the time. They got rockets being fired into their country constantly. They're almost constantly under attack. They don't have the benefit of the United States, you know, being um, ocean locked, having an ocean border on two sides and having two countries that, you know, are pretty chill with us about things. But the amazing part of all this is you've got these people that are supposed to be tolerant and they are, they're, they're not really tolerant. These are the same people that will call you a Nazi for wearing a Trump hat. These are the same people who say that the Christian flag is a known white supremacy symbol. No, it's not. Okay, it's the flag of Christianity. Everything about it. And I know where they're going from because most of these idiots, they're just afraid of the color white completely. And they're afraid of themselves and afraid of anyone that's white and afraid of any color that's white. They look at the, I believe that the... I believe that the the square that the cross is in is supposed to symbolize royalty of God. The cross is to symbolize the cross being red, the Roman cross is to symbolize the sacrifice of Christ for Christianity, and the white on there is um purity similar to that of a wedding dress. It has nothing to do with race or culture. It is a semblance of similar to a wedding dress. It is the intentions are pure. It was a pure sacrifice. In other words, a sacrifice that there was nothing wrong with. Similar to, if you look up in biblical scripture, Pontius Pilate, who presided over Jesus' trial, stated, he said, I find no fault in this man, who was a Jew. Meaning, he said, I, I can't find a reason to put him down. He said, I can't find a reason to charge him for what you're doing. It's basically uh, like what, uh, who was it? Keith Oberman said, Christy, uh, not Christy Basil uh, Who is that woman? Amy Comey, Amy Comey Barrett has to be put in jail simply because Trump has nominated her. She must be jailed now and prosecuted for what? Being a judge, apparently. <laughs> it's hilarious. But I hope you guys got a laugh out of this like I did reading all of these tweets. Uh, this one here from Raquel Burks, I think, is the funniest. We need... what? Well, yes, we what we need is a white Cleopatra finally again. One, Gagadot is Israeli. She does not qualify as white, according to white supremacists. Okay, they would not accept her. Two, Cleopatra was a white woman in history. Anyway, folks, I'm the last writer. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, y'all had a laugh. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell. You'll see more of this awesome content. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.